All right, what's up everyone? Duquesne23 here, and today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to set up your own custom races for event labs and what to do, because it actually is a little bit confusing. I know whenever I first was looking into it, I was like, how in the heck do I actually start creating something? How do I put checkpoints out? How do I do the whole um, like node graph type of, you know, like customizing everything? So this is your tutorial on how we are going to do this. So if you go into the events lab, like creative hub here, you will notice a few things here. Now there is events lab, you play community made events on here. So you check out that you have my events on here. This one is not completed um, on here. So I, that was my testing one of me figuring everything out. But then you have event blueprints here that you could check out just from other creators trending today, best of the month, all time greats, new friends and followed my favorites and my history. So you have a tons of like ton of different options here to be able to find, you know, new events and everything like that. But this isn't necessarily how you create your own event and your own track with your own aesthetics and your own everything. After going in and looking at that, I was like, well, man, maybe that's not how you create stuff. And so I went over here and I started to create a challenge card in Super 7. Now, you can hop in here and create something yourself with this challenge card stuff. And you could create your own tracks. You could place down objects and do all that type of stuff and create something really cool. But it'll just be a simple thing whenever you create a challenge card. You just basically set a route of where you want to go. Like if I set one there and that's it. You cannot deviate from that route at all. That it just automatically loaded up there. Um, so basically, this is, again, not something that you want to do if you want to create your full on custom track with your own checkpoints and everything like that. So after fiddling around with it for a bit, I figured out what you need to do is go over to a race starting area. So you could go anywhere on the map, any race, that, any starting area, it doesn't matter where you want. But let's go ahead and go up on here on, on top of the mountain, up on top of the volcano at the caldera up here. And we're going to go ahead and select this race is where we're going to be starting off with our um, with our own custom map. And I will meet you all up there. OK, so now we are here at the destination. We are at the top of the summit here at, well, in the caldera here. We're inside the volcano. Um, normally, like you would see uh, in one of the things you would see this actually be lava right there where the water is. But we are here where we want to start our our own custom track. And you can go ahead and hit X to enter the event. Now, this is where you can decide on multiple different things here. You can click solo or create your own route. So if you click solo here, you can go ahead over here into the event lab and create a blueprint here and like this. And you could choose your current car or, or you could just go like this. Go to your um, uh, let's see here. Let's go here. And you can say your current car will go with the UNSC. It's open. And here you go. So here, create or choose route. Now, this is choosing the default uh, route that I just have right now. But that's not something that I want to do. Now, you can change it up. You can do uh, this route that's uh, right here, which is this is the Horizon one. This is the Titan. This is a big boy race right here. Or you can have some different ones from this from starting from this area. So there's different like stuff around this area that you could start from and you could go everywhere. Basically, these are all the different routes that are here that you could just choose different spots and stuff now. But again, like I said, if you want to create your own, you would just click create new uh, right here. So that's what you would do there. Or you can always go over to um, I'm just going to exit without saving or what you could do, like I said before, is right here, create route and you would go into creating the route itself right here. So we can go ahead and go solo. We're going to click on Event Lab um, Blueprints here. We're going to choose UNSC, so that way it's the Warthog here. And we're going to go choosing and creating our own route. Whenever you create your route, you choose the vehicle that you're going to be racing with. And beautiful, Warthog. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at me over there dancing. Okay, so this is where you create your route. Anywhere you drive right now is exactly where the route will go. 
if I drive a straight forward like this and then turn here, if you notice, I can hit X and place a checkpoint here. And then I can just widen up the checkpoint however wide I want the checkpoint to go. You know, I can keep it going pretty wide for the checkpoint or I could go real small if I want the checkpoint to be a real tight checkpoint, you know, on there. And then I just hit A to confirm the checkpoint there. And if you notice, wherever I drive, that's where the blue route will go. If you know, see how the blue route, the little arrows are following me, wherever I drive, I could go like this. I'll turn and look at the blue arrows. They're following me here. Wherever I go, that's where the blue arrow, arrows will follow. So pretty much what you want to do is kind of, kind of, you know, look at where you want to go before you do this type of track. And then you could go ahead and just, you know, change it from there. Like, you know, you can make your own route if you know exactly where you want to go. Now, of course, you can go on here. You can say, I would like to restart. Yes, just go into a restart. There we go. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a track. Now, before you want to, before you decide to drive forward and make yourself a track, you can go ahead and hit the button on the bottom, the back button or the, I don't know what it's called on this one um you know the the build the blueprint builder now you going into the blueprint builder is the full on editor this is exactly what you need to be able to just fully make something your own and you can fly around if you want to fly around and try to be like hmm where should i drive you know okay i want to follow this pathway right here for my for my driving and then eventually we're going to jump off the edge of the mountain because, you know, you got to jump off the edge of the mountain eventually. You know, it, it's it's of course, of course. So it, what you do is you go right here and you go ahead and go into the Blueprint Builder library. And this is where you can select anything that's in the library. They have tons of different types of ramps. They have signs and flags. I mean, tons of signs and flags that you can throw into your maps on here festival th items like stands and you know music uh sta stages and just all sorts of stuff like that you know like tons of different festival items here um which if you want you can have a starting gate type of thing here so if you want you can be like okay i want to have um this one as a little starting thing the wilds one so i can go ahead and drop that down right here now, if you notice, once I place it down, it, you, this uses up 6%. Okay, that uses up 6% of my props. Now, this is something to remember. At first, whenever I saw this, I was like, you got to be kidding me. This is going to be like, I'm barely going to be able to put anything out. So one thing to remember, when you place an item down, that uses up the props percentage. But once you duplicate that item, and I like duplicate. And by the way, yeah, you can go ahead and place it anywhere you want. You can hit the D-pad to rotate it however you want. Press up and down on the D-pad to control the pitch of it on here. Here's the roll of it, you know, like that. So it, it literally, you can do whatever you want to control it however you want. But like I said, once you place the initial object down that uses the 6% props, once you place another one of the exact same objects, it does not use any percentage of the props. So now I can go ahead and clone this, put another one down, clone it, put another one down, clone it, put another one down, King, just keep going. I could do this all day and it will not use up any percentage. You notice how it's still at 6% right now. And that's because all it does is take the initial prop. Now you can't, if you delete this initial prop, if I go like that and delete it, it still will have the 6% because it's just it, once this object is loaded into the map, it uses the 6% item on here. So we let's go ahead and delete some of this stuff here. Let's delete all these. And now watch once I delete them all, then that 6% will disappear. If I go like this, delete, it'll disappear. See that? So that's something to remember. If you if you want to make something, you know, you can go ahead and put this here. Look at this, Horizon Mexico. We can go ahead and put this down. Now, initially, whenever you first put it down, it will form to the terrain, however the terrain is at. Okay, that's what happens initially whenever you place it down. So right there, I place it down, it's like that. 
But if I wanted to, you know, place it inside the ground, I would just grab it again, uh, grab it again, and I can place it inside the ground very easily, just like that, with no problems at all, you know, there. So this is, you know, that's five percent, that one right there. So that's all you have to do. Then now you go through your walls and fences. These are all broken items that you can just break and stuff like that. If you don't want some items to break, you just go ahead and use this. Like, let's say I grab this one right here. This will use up, you know, a certain amount. I place it down, it uses up. Now it's at 11%. But now I could spawn as many of these as I possibly want. If I just want to keep going with this green wall all the way around, it'll stay at 11% the entire time without changing you know and look at this like so that's the great thing about this at first i was like oh my gosh like you know is it really each object is going to use that much percentage of the props no like you once you put the initial object down you are good to go and so there there's a whole bunch of different walls here we got you know you know breakable tire stacks and things like that these are gameplay things that will bust and break like the pinatas these are the the speed cameras the horizon chests you know there's the bowling pins that we saw in the previews look we got soccer balls and stuff like that and you know goals and everything so you can place any of that type of stuff down here's some vehicles that you can the ones certain ones that you can actually paint and certain ones will actually break uh, but if you want to go ahead and put an ac-130 down on here you can go ahead and place an ac-130 and there you go you got an ac 130 and that's at 15 percent but if i duplicate it it will not go up anymore on there so see that's that's the thing whenever i first saw that i was like it didn't go up anymore whenever you place it i was like heck yes that's going to be incredible so here's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of vehicles here look we could go ahead and put some balloons in here look at this balloons 18 percent. we go ahead and jump over here Put another one right here and by the way you left click to go into precision mode and if whenever you're using the right stick it slows down this is the normal speed of the right stick if i click precision mode this is the speed of the right stick with that so they did a fantastic job with doing this type of stuff um on here so there we go we have that here's industrial you know different industrial stuff we'll go ahead and click one of these containers and here's the different color containers that you saw and you can go ahead and place any of this type of stuff down. And the thing is, containers don't really use too much. You know, it's only uses 2% containers. Um, so that's really interesting uh, that it only uses 2% uh, on there. So I wonder though, like that's one thing though you need to remember. I wonder if I click this item and I choose a different color, if it'll add up. Let's go ahead and test that on there no it does not so different colored items of the same item does not add to the percentage of props so that means you can add out what however many colors you want of these containers and you are good to go let's go ahead and rotate this one around like this and then just put it there and see it's always staying at 20 percent there it was 20 percent the entire time right i'm, I'm not just uh making up stuff here <laughs> yeah there we go yeah so it's staying at 20 percent there so then we have more urban items there's tons of different urban items and stuff like that that you can place down benches and light posts and just stands and everything this massive towers you know uh electrical towers you know power lines and stuff like that that's just one percent that only costs one percent to place down and then we have things different rural things here we got the statues we got a little monolith type of looking deals rock debris so if you do want to have some rock debris, you can go ahead and place it down like that. And then anytime you duplicate that, it's that's it. You don't have to worry about any more rock de you know, debris uh, using up your percentage there. And here we go in the natural. Got to put a little T-Rex in here, you know, just for some fun. We, so we need some Jurassic Park stuff here. Uh, there we go. 30%. The T-Rex uses quite a bit on there. But... Here, look at all the natural elements on here. We got rocks. We got everything. We got trees. We got bushes. You know, we got all sorts of stuff here. Tons of different types of things here, uh, which is awesome. That's exactly what I want. I want a nice variety of different items. So once you put out all the items that you want on your on your map, you can just go down wherever you're going to be driving. Just go down wherever you're going to be driving and, you know, build. So what you can do if you want to, if you're not exactly sure where you want to drive, 
what you can do is you say, are you ready to continue creating custom route? You just hit yes. You start driving. I'm creating my custom route. If you can see, I drive like this, just, you know, go nice and easy. And then I could go place checkpoint here. And so let's go ahead and keep that wide. Go ahead and hit confirm, place a checkpoint. Go ahead and drive through here like so. And boom, place a checkpoint. Go ahead and have that wide like that. And then if it's like, no, 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 hold on one second. Um, you can place the finish line right here, by the way, if you're done, but we're not done. We wanna go into the blueprint editor again. So you just drive right here, go into the blueprint editor and you can start, if, you, if there's not a jump you wanna place, if it's just aesthetic around the track, go in afterwards and do that. But if there's a jump you wanna place, make sure you put it before you actually jump with your vehicle there. So like, let's say I wanna put a jump right here going off of this. So that way we can jump off of this mountain here eventually. So, cause this looks like a fun mountain to jump. Look at that, that hasn't even loaded up yet uh, just cause we haven't seen that. Or what if we go through here and then around there and then we jump off of right there? Oh, that would be pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's go back, exit the builder here. Let's go ahead and go through here. And then you, we're gonna put a checkpoint right here like so, like this. And of course you can move these around however you want and hit right trigger there. And then we're gonna go ahead and place one here. Put one there, perfect. You gotta make sure people can't cheat, you know? Put one here. All right, perfect. And then right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the blueprint editor. And then we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And we're let's have a huge jump right here. Look at this jump, let's get this one right here. And by the way, everyone, yes. Yes, you can place these jumps and just completely like make a loop if you really wanted to. I did do that earlier. It is insane. So watch, if I clone this object and move it up and let's go ahead and rotate, it will, your, your Warthog will jump and we can have an insanely massive jump. Let's just place the object right there because why not? Why not? Why not? There we go. Let's exit this blueprint. And let's go ahead and move this around here. All right, so actually we're gonna cancel and we are going to actually rewind. So let's go ahead and rewind real quick. I wanna put the uh, blueprint, I wanna put the uh, resume from here and let's go ahead and put the checkpoint here. And let's shrink this a little bit. And there we go, hit confirm. Yes! <laughs> oh, look at this jump. Fantastic, fantastic. And then we can go downhill like this. Go down here. Go ahead, place a checkpoint here. Widen it out like crazy. All right, hit confirm. And then go all the way downhill like so. And then route options. We can place a finish line right here. Go ahead and place the finish line right there. And look at that. We got ourselves our track that is in place. This is not, wait, wait, create new. This is my old track that I was testing. And here we go. I'm just gonna call this one test two. There we go. Hit test two, saving, done. And there we go. Create an event with this route. Yes, create an event with this route because we do, we wanna create an event. I know this tutorial is a little bit long, but we wanna make sure we have everything correct. Uh, so there's test two there, okay. And here, by the way, the rules of play is where you wanna go in and this is where you do the full on 
scripting of what you want. So you can have your different triggers. You add a trigger when anything, when a collision with a player, uh, when this trigger happens, collision with player, and these conditions are true, uh, gets lap completed by a player, um, last skill, smashable, gets player place, gets players progress, anything. Like when, when these conditions are true, like, and you just literally just, that's if you want a certain condition there. Perform these actions, you know, here. You perform these actions. Um, let's see here. Finish player. Finish all players. Play a sound. Play a sound. Uh, choose the player. The collider or the collide. Let's go collider. Choose sound effect. Aruga one. Aruga one. Excellent. And there you go. So now... If you collide, if someone collides with the player, the collider will have the Aruga one sound play. And there you go. That's that's it. That, that's all we need right there. Just hit yes. And there you go. Rules of play. You can just change some things up. And there you are. And now you can just come over here and you come into the test drive. We go into the the warthog here and we go test drive. And that is pretty much it, everyone. That is everything you need to know about actually playing all of this and racing with it. Now, let's go ahead and just start this test drive with everyone, see how it goes, see how this track, I know this is very weak looking, but hey, you know, you do what you can. <laughs> you do what you can on here. Everyone is driving in a Warthog, which there should be no other vehicle anyone ever drives with. Naturally, since you're testing, everyone is gonna be riding directly on that line. That's one thing I noticed. Um, people do not go off of that line. People stay on the line the entire time. Did you hear the Aruga thing playing, by the way? Listen. Hear that? <laughs> oh my gosh, great. And here we go. We're going off of the big jump. Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Wow, what a landing there. And then now we're just going downhill to go finish it. This is before you publish it. You have to validate that you can actually complete the track. Um, so that is what this is for. Now, of course, since we're just testing, we just kind of stop there at the end. Um, but just return to the settings. We did our test drive. Now we're able to publish this if we want to actually publish this here. So there we go. That means all you would have to do is come over here, click publish, and your map is published. Let's go ahead and publish this. You, my friend, are now a published there we go. It's published. There we are. This is not that great of a track, but it is published, and that's all that counts there, you know. Um, so yeah, so thank you everyone for coming out if you want to be able to see more Forza Horizon uh, Event lab things and more tutorials some more in-depth stuff like that that I'll be going through later on And you know, maybe not a more in-depth like this shorter videos. It's not gonna be this long of a video But uh, if you want to see more be sure to come back be sure to subscribe I will be covering a lot of event events lab things here on this channel and uh, that it will be it and I will see y'all next time.